All right, folks, welcome to 90.90 Quadratic for your uh, Algebra 2 uh, notes for today, Thursday. All right, so I'm at a few meetings this afternoon. Please stop this video, pause it whenever you need. I need to make this video somewhat quickly during my prep hour here. Got to do a few different things. So we are on page three, page three here in your game plan. If you were gone yesterday, sixth hour or eighth hour, um, Please pick up a game plan at the front, all right? Page three and four. Anyway, folks, um, number nine here. I want you to think of number nine as if it were like x squared plus 8x plus 15, all right? How you would factor that? What multiplies to 15 adds to 8? That'd be 5 and 3. So, again, this isn't the question, but it's very much similar to it. It'd be x plus 5, x plus 3. The only difference here is how do I get x to the fourth? It's not going to be x times x, but it's going to be x squared times x squared. So that is literally the only difference from traditional factoring is that instead of it being x times x, you're gonna have x squared times x squared gives you x to the fourth. Guys, if you were to FOIL this, 5x squared, 3x squared gives you 8x squared. Five times three gives you 15, so we're done. I made a little boo-boo here on 10. Change that to the fourth power. So same thing. What multiplies to 44, because it's negative, differs by 7. That would be 11 and 4. The middle term is negative, so the bigger factor, 11, is negative. That makes this a positive 4. We're going to have x squared minus 11 as a factor. The other one is x squared plus 4. Ta-da! All right, we're finished. So um, why don't you give 11 and 12 here a try? This might be a good time to pause the video pause the video somebody so maybe a good idea if like someone is sitting close to this so you can help out with the uh with the uh technology here all right so everybody try uh try 11 12 pause it real quick and uh, i'm going to give you the answers here in a sec all right so hopefully you guys did 11 and 12 here we go what multiplies to 5 adds to 6 5 and 1 so it's going to be x squared plus 5 x squared plus 1. Okay. Um, what multiplies on 12 here? What multiplies the 10 because it's negative differs by 3? That would be 5 and 2 multiply to 10 differ by 3. Middle term's negative, so my bigger factor is negative. Anytime you get a negative constant, that's the product. One of them's got to be negative, one of them's got to be positive. So x squared minus 5, x squared plus 2. Now, what I meant to do is I meant to give you an example, so write this one down. I meant to do something like this. Let's do uh, x to the fourth minus 2x squared minus 63. What we'll multiplies to 63 because it's negative differs by 2? 9 and 7, where 9 is negative, the middle term is negative. Be x squared minus 9x squared plus 7. Notice it says factor complete solution. So if I gave you one like this, guys, x squared minus 9 can continue to be factored. This is a difference of two perfect squares. What multiplies to 9? Because it's negative, differs by, there's no middle term there. It would be x plus 3, x minus 3. Then I would leave that x squared plus 7. All right, so we'll practice more of those in like a review later. Um, but you're probably going to see something like that on your open note quiz next Friday. All right, folks, let's take a look at 13, solve each equation. We're literally doing the same thing with factoring. What multiplies to 35 because it's negative differs by 2? That'd be a negative 7 and a 5. So first off, 7 and 5 multiply to 35, differ by 2. The middle term is negative, so 7 is negative. So anyway, I'm going to have x squared minus 7, x squared plus 5. This time equals 0. Cover-up method, cover-up method. You can see the lovely paint from my house there, my terribly dry fingers. I need to be brought to you by like Nutriderm or something. They need to be a prime sponsor. Anyway, x squared minus 7 is 0. So let's work on solving that. x squared equals 7. Guys, if I want to figure out what x is, I do the opposite of squaring. I take the square roots. Remember, if I'm looking for some number squared that gives me 7, I could have a positive or a negative number. 7 doesn't have any any partners, nothing to break out of that radical jail. So it's plus or minus root 7 is my first answer. 
my next answer, cover up method, x squared plus five equals zero. x squared equals negative